Okay, Scott. Welcome back, everybody. Here we are, trying to recover after our losses, trying to regroup, bringing in th the three members that have not been using much. And actually, it's probably not the best choice, but we're going to continue forward with, forward with it anyway. Um, we don't really need to talk to all these people. We're going to come up all rested up. Bow and pay homage to our new liege, King Dalton! Ugh, I hate this guy so much. He's the absolute worst. <laughs> Absolute worst, and I'm gonna change his voice almost every single time he comes on screen, probably, because he doesn't he doesn't deserve my respect to con keep a consistent voice for him. <laughs> yeah, that seems reasonable. You there? What's wrong? You're lucky to be alive. The old crowed and pesky gurus are gone. I now rename Zeal the Kingdom of Dalton. Yeah, that's definitely a different voice. You? You're alive? Ah, that vehicle outside must be yours. It's just the one Balthazar was building, just like the one Balthazar. I've decided you don't deserve such a splendid toy. Henceforth, it should be my personal chariot. You've got to be joking. You'll have to come with me. You may start a rebellion or something. And now, as a token of my esteem for you, take this! What? <laughs> uh, that's silly. Alright, well he captures us anyway. Despite our best efforts, despite Luca being a badass, we get captured. Just after having lost our friend, really getting as low as we possibly can here. Uh. So here's the big reason why I shouldn't have used this group. <laughs> We're captured. Where are we? Mm. Our equipment's gone. Our items too. Even the money. Or even the money. What do we do? So, we're captured. We have no items. And if I would have brought Ayla, then she doesn't. She could still attack people. But I'm stupid. What? The sky. We're so. We're inside. Yeah, the big, the big plane that we saw earlier. The blackbird, indeed. So we're captured here. If we had Ayla in our group, she'd be able to attack enemies, but we do not have them. Please wait. It seems like an air duct. So we can fight our way through that way if we had Ayla, which we don't. Um, or we can go up into the air duct and figure out which way to go from here. So we can look down, figure out which way we want to go. But the big thing is we basically have to go find our items or our weapons before before anything else happens or else we can't fight our way anywhere we, we basically get kidnapped and put back into our our holding cell so we need to go find our weapons basically is what this boils down to and I do not remember where that is so that can make this a little bit more difficult <laughs> hey this might be it do we find it that already this guy's sleeping Luca's equipment's back at, at the very least alright so we get him one at a time so there we go. Perfect. We can already start fighting people again. Oh, uh, I don't. Still don't remember which way to go though. Is there people stuff in here? Let's see what's down here. Nope. Don't go that way. All right. This might be a piecing together of trying to figure out which way to go to get all our shit. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen here. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, we went into the wrong way. Luca's in trouble here. I need to kill that robot thing really fast because that thing's gonna kill me. Yep, I would rather both of them hit me than the robot thing. I think I could survive that better. That treasure chest better have something good in it because Luca's gonna die. Come on, come on, get both of them. There we go. Woo! Luca, Luca, staying alive just enough, <laughs> just enough to get the, to this treasure chest. Ooh, she got a bunch of, a bunch of tech points and shit though. Holy crap! All right, who do we got here? Items back. Well, at least I can heal myself. That's something. It's better than nothing, right? Let's fight these guys. There's gotta be something in here. There's gotta be something good in here. Can I get both of them? Yeah. Luca's just gonna get all the levels. As long as there's something in here, I don't mind. So, that's our goal. 
Just get something back. Something's gotta be in here. Good job, Luca. I like how the other two just stand there. They have tech points. They don't need weapons. They could still fight. But no, they're just gonna sit there and let Luca do it all on her own. They just sit there uselessly. God damn, these robot things suck. At least I got napalm. Lots and lots of napalm. Nothing like napalm on a plane. That doesn't. I don't see anything that could go wrong with that. All right, who do we get this time, or what do we get this time? Marley's stuff back. All right, Marley. Now we're talking. Let's see if we can get Robo shit back next. Something's got to be in here. Hey, yeah, this is definitely something. Hey, you. All right, we got two people who can do shit now. Um, can you get both of them? You can kill somebody, right? Ice, please. That's all we need. Um, I still don't have my money back either, though. Which I def desperately want before we leave. So this could e this is probably the money. Um, I still need to get robo shit too, though. Good job, everybody. Tech points ever tech points for everybody. Money back, alright. Just have to go get robo stuff now. Almost there. Alright, is this the right way? Holy shit, this is not the right way! <laughs> uh, this is most definitely not the right way. Alright, this is going to be the right way. There we go, there's our last thing. Hey, you! Again. <laughs> Nothing very original from these guys. Alright, get them both with napalm, there we go. Alright, we're going to have robo stuff, we got our items, we got our money. Now we can go all the way back to where we were, because we need to go back up to the outside where we're on the wing of the plane. That's our next stop, so let's get robo shit, and figure out where the hell we were supposed to go for that, because I don't remember. Hey you! Oh, this is this isn't this is something different. What is this? It seems he's modifying Epoch. Shh. Ah yes, a scene. Pay close attention to what they're doing. This will be my royal air throne. The world now belongs to me. <laughs> oh Dalton, they're modifying our Epoch though, eh? If you say so. All right. Now we need to find the right way to go. Was it in here? Is this the right way? This is the right way. Alright, we found it! We made it! We made it! We made it! Alright, so these things are kind of like the rubble were at the mountain. Where I really don't get much of a chance to attack them. They give me a great amount of tech points, but I miss them like crazy. So, we need to actually hit them effectively here. That's our goal. Let's do it! Aww. Well, we do have the worst possible group for this. Oh, we learned f Dual Punch, that's interesting. Because um, even when I do hit them, it's not going to hit them by much. So I really don't see myself getting a lot of kills on this section. Hopefully we do, but I don't see it happening. We're just going to get shot by a bunch of turrets and keep missing. Yep, like that. See, we got a hit, but only 57. This thing's probably got way more health than that and self-destruct. I don't think we're going to kill any of these things. Jesus Christ! Alright, self-destruct. Leave me. God damn it. Someone else has got to hit it! Yeah! Robo! We still didn't kill it! We did it like four times and it still didn't die. Alright, I'm giving up my hopes on this. Let's just heal up. Alright, we're giving up on those defeating those turrets, but I know I have to come down here. What's going on? It's a massive magic energy reaction. Oh shit! It's another Kylum! Not these things again, except it's a different one! This one's like souped up! He's... he's... A golem boss! No ordinary golems here. Alright, so we need to... Oh, fuck, I don't know what we need to do. Uh, let's try fire punch. Do the fire punch. Do they... does he copy my shit? It doesn't look like he does. Alright, ho hopefully this hits him by a lot. Ugh! This is gonna be a long battle. I don't like what's happening here. Uh, Antipode, maybe that'll do something more. User spin. God, all these people have no attacks. This is gonna be a tough battle. That one works a little better, at least. But jeez. Yeah, that's gonna have to be our best combo. What do you got for me, Golem Boss? Are you gonna hit us hard? Oh, that's right. Um, 
<laughs> I forgot about this boss. I forgot that he's like uh, not a real boss. He forgets his like he does this countdown and then forgets what his move is. <laughs> I totally forgot. Ah, uh, it makes me feel much better that I have a terrible group in there right now. Or I shouldn't say a terrible group. They're just under leveled and uh, they don't have all their tech moves like some of the other characters do. But that's why I'm using them. Give them a give them a fighting chance to level up a little bit. Impossible. I'm scared. Oh man. Oh, that's why. That's why he's not do he didn't forget his moves. He's afraid of heights. <laughs> Just another little bit of humor in this game. There he is. I hate heights! Oh no! Oh, that's too funny. I guess that means he just ran away. So we don't even defeat him, he just ran away. It's complete, I've done it! Oh, I hate this guy. Oh, I hate him so much. See these beautiful wings! Now this is a king's throne! Now, uh, name it... The Aerodalton Imperial! And they're gonna be my first victims! Aerodalton Imperial, engage! No, 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 no! Stop the music! <laughs> Fourth wall break! <laughs> there we go! Ready for takeoff! Good effect of the door opening there, it's pretty sweet. The Aerodalton Imperial, we lift off Houston! And leaves all the things in his wake. What a dick! Oh man, there it goes. Look! You can fly now! Thanks, if anything, Dalton's a huge asshole this whole game. But at the very least, he put, you know, souped up the Epoch a bit. It's flying! <laughs> it's not Epoch, it's the Aerodalton Imperial! <laughs> you are excess baggage. Make the wind and blow out of here. Make like the wind and blow out of here. Oh shit, he installed lasers even too. I didn't remember that. You are like insects to me. We must retrieve the epoch. It's all your fault. Chrono, get back Chrono. Oh, Marley doesn't, Marley don't give a shit. Now we actually have to fight Dalton, huh? Forgot all about this. Take this! Oh, that didn't, that didn't hurt very much. Wasn't he supposed to be some big badass? Only hit me by like 53. But, oh, that's right. He was gonna be made immortal, and then that didn't happen. Opposite magic attack. So, does that mean we shouldn't be using uh, magic on him? Because he can actually hit us? I don't like that. Does he rebuttal with normal attacks too? Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he certainly does. Shit. All right, so he just basically is a counter counter puncher. Got the counter punch. Holy shit! Okay, so he can actually hit us. Uh, let's napalm him and then or beam heal everybody. See how that'll work. Yep, opposite magic attack. He's gonna use it on everybody though, isn't he? Just don't die, Robo. Shit! Robo died. God damn it! All right, so basically I just have to worry about his counter attacks. We can do this, as long as not everyone dies over and over again. Let's revive and and defeat this guy. He shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Alright, now we can actually start attacking him. <laughs> now that we're actually healed up, finally. Alright, so it's gonna be a combo of... God damn it, she's hurt again. Cure yourself, then we'll attack with some fire punch, and then we'll heal everybody. Then we'll lather, rinse, and repeat. We can do this. Oh, go Golem Boss! Alright, we got him. Good enough that Napalm did it. <laughs> the Golem Boss was already taken care of. He ran away, he gets disappeared into his own thing. From what I remember, I hope that's the last of him. That must mean he gets murdered in that black hole he just created. Alright, Robo Tackle, Ice Tackle, now we get some decent moves. Alright, we did it, everybody! Huh. Whees! <laughs> is the is the epoch okay? Success. More importantly, did he change the controls? Is everything okay? Luca, press the Y button. <laughs> press the Y button. I'm pressing it. 
Now press the Y button. There we go. Holy shit, we're taking down we're taking down the blackbird. Oh! Try the X button! Alright, X button. Oh shit's happening! Yeah, we're taking it down. The epoch taking down the entire blackbird. Bye Blackbird. Bye Dalton's creation. Bye Dalton. I hope I don't ever have to deal with him again, which I don't think I do. Yay, Justice Dalton got what he deserved! Hell, yeah, he did. Whoa, that ship can fly. Yeah, it can. Alright. Whew, now I got it. We were lucky if we had pressed the wrong control devices. It needed a remodel anyway. Chrono. Marley. If Epoch is intact, I'm sure that Chrono is too. It's a good point. It's a good point you make. Boo! Alright. Chrono's gotta be somewhere. I'll find him. That's right. You tell him. You tell him, Marley. So, from what I remember, this is now the point where basically... Here, let's, let's get out of here real quick. No? No, I can't? He's gotta be around here somewhere. We gotta find him. Okay. Fair enough. So, this is the point where, if I remember correctly, we basically could go... I mean, we're getting to the point where it's almost all side quests. We need to go go up here, do our little thing, which I want to change our group around. It's not letting me do that. Let me see if I can do that real quick. Um, but then we're getting to the point where it's all side quests, and we could just go beat the game if we wanted to. But we are going to go do all the side quests. In case you were all curious, we totally will do it. So... Let's, um, let me see if I can change my group around at all. Hold on just a second. All right, everybody, I'm sorry. I made a horrible mistake because I want Glenn in my group for right now, and I can't. There's no way to switch. It won't let me go to the end of time. I can't do any of this, so god damn it. So, this isn't how I wanted to play out, but we're going to push forward anyway to the North Cape. I really wanted Glenn in my group for this, and now he's not, and that sucks. Cause look who it is! So it's you, Magus. Behold, everything's at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of Zeal and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. I once lived there, but I was another person then. Man, I really wanted Glenn to be in my group for this. I can't believe I messed that up. So stupid. Hmm, the dimensional warp. This power is beyond human control. No. We'll be dra we'll be dragged into the warp. Shala. No, Janice, stay away. But but Shit goes down here, guys. Let me tell ya. Shit is going down those lavos. It's it's a A time gate? No! Balthazar, that's the the new in the future who created the time machine. Shala! Janice! Oh. That very distinctive Lavos roar right there. Ooh, it's chilling. Chilling, even. So that's how Melchior got to the 600s. That's how... Balthazar got to the future, and Gaspar, huh? He must be the old man at the end of time. This is the end of time. And Janice, running into Ozzy in the 600s, well that's odd. I wonder who Janice actually is, and it's been kind of pointed out the entire time. You're Janice, aren't you? Yep. Janice was Magus the whole time! Ever since Lavos's time portal stranded me in the Middle Ages, I've been waiting to even the score. You've interrupted me just when I had summoned Lavos to my castle. How ironic that having been drawn into yet another portal, I would end up in this age. Being from the future, my knowledge of the past enabled me to convince the Queen that I was a mighty oracle, but no history book could have prepared me for what happened here. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. Anyone who dared to oppose it meets certain doom. 
At this rate, you two will meet a hideous fate, just like your poor fool, Chrono. How dare you? It's because of you that Chrono's gone. He is history. Play with fire and you're gonna get burned. What an arrogant pig! You wish to fight me? God, this is why I wish I had Glenn. Because Glenn would be having this conversation instead of Marley, and I ruined it. And so I was <laughs> gonna have Glenn fight Magus, and you can kill Magus, giving Glenn his final redemption. But since Glenn wouldn't even get that satisfaction, no, we're not gonna fight you, Magus. Even if we did, you. Even if we did defeat you, it won't bring Chrono back. Hmm. So, instead of Glenn getting his ultimate redemption, wait! We get this. I'll come with you. Say what? You know, there just might be a way to bring him back. You, you're joking. Gaspar, the guru of time, knows how to restore lost, misplaced time streams. So we get Magus in our group instead. So, Glenn, I hope this isn't betraying you. Magus was just trying to defeat Lavos. I know he is a monster to you. But you're all going to have to get together. Get along, because you're all in the same group now. We've got my Magus in our group. This isn't how I originally planned this. I wanted Glenn to be in that group, and I fucked it up. But now, Glenn, we get Magus in our group instead. Hmm. That's... Oh, shit! So, they won't... Their beef will have to be on the back burner. Magus is now in a group with Glenn. Our old froggy friend doesn't get to redeem his... his lost humanity like I wanted him to, but... That's alright. That's alright. We get this badass Magus character in our group who's really... Yes, he's evil, but he's not... He's kind of evil. <laughs> it's kind of... So, he's in our group now. And there is the Black Omen. The Ocean Palace hath risen. Surely it doth beckon us. Me hate Ayla not like boat. The Undersea Palace. This is impossible. So, we... Now, like I was saying, the game really opens up into many different things. I could, if I wanted to, just go straight to to the apocalypse. But And it's all a bunch of side quests from here. We don't even have to go save Chrono if we don't want to. But that's what we're going to do. How could we not save Chrono? He's the main character of the game, goddammit. Yes, disembark. We need to talk to Gaspar. Glenn, let's do this. <gasps> hey, where's the healthy kid with the radical haircut? Mm. Oh, Gaspar. This is terrible news. I have nothing to... I, <clears throat> all my voices end up being the exact same. I have nothing to give to you but this song. It's called Memories of Chrono. It is a beautiful song. And we're gonna need it. I wish I could lend a hand. Only the Guru of Time can help us now. Hey, where have you been? So that's your story, and you and just look at you now. You've become quite formidable. Huh? The Guru of Time, eh? Heard of him, of course. But what do you want with him? We've heard that he might be the one to bring our Chrono back. To bring back last lost loved ones. It's almost... Chrono must be proud to have friends like you. Gaspar, I know it's you. Chrono must be proud to have friends like you. Yup. Tell me what I want to know. Yeah. Tell me what I want to know, Gaspar. I know it's you. I know it's you! Here, take this with you. Egg, Ayla, hungry, want eat. Let us call the Chrono Trigger. Ah, they said the title. The Chrono Trigger. It is pure potential. By unleashing a specific course of events, it can have a powerful effect on time. 
asked the one who made the epoch. Your wings of time, how to hatch it. Like any egg, it represents a possibility. It may or may not hatch. But the Chrono Trigger gives you the potential to get your friend back. The egg will have an e effect equal to its effort to put, sh put you into your search. No more, no less. Don't forget that. As long as you keep Chrono in your heart, the day of your dreaming shall arrive. I get it. It's you, isn't it? What? So, the Art Gasper, the, ti the guru of time? Um, well, I believe that's what they used to call me ages ago. We got one Chrono Trigger! Hell yeah. And now we need to go see Balthazar in the future. But we're going to do that next time. We got a new group member. We got a new purpose. We're going to go save Chrono in the next part. I will see you guys then. Sorry for messing this part up. But I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.